How's it going guys, RXXC here, and I am very excited today to bring you some information. Um, a thing happened today, I woke up this morning, I uh, woke up at like 6 o'clock to get up and go to work, and I was on Twitter, and something very much surprised me. Um, the Digimon trading card game is now getting a, I think, worldwide release, or at least a English release, which is all I really care about. Sorry if you don't speak English, but hello, I get my game now. So, uh, for those of you who know, um, I am a big fan of Digimon. I'm a big fan of this game. I actually have uh, some cards and stuff already, the Japanese version. Um, and whew, this game is really fun. And uh, I think I'm going to title this video, like, Why You Should Be Excited About This Game. I don't have all of the uh, notes and everything in front of me. Y'all know how I roll. I don't really uh, script things. But... Um, Card game wise, uh, I've been exposed to a decent amount of them, not too too many, um, but uh, the way this game plays feels like um, I don't know. It feels it feels like it could do something. When I, when I'm having a good game of this, I feel like there's enough things moving around in there um, to where this game can grow to a pretty decent level. Um, well, y'all know I'm like a Pokemon player. Uh, some of my friends are Yu-Gi-Oh players, and some of my friends are Magic players. So I have kind of all the information coming in. Um, if you're completely new to this Digimon game thing, um, it's based off of the Chrono Clash system, which is a kind of all-in-one box uh, card game um, that they make different sets for and stuff like that. Look it up. It's kind of cool. Some people like it. Um, so the energy system uh, is the same as it is in Chrono Clash in this Digimon game. Um, and if you look up the game, which I'm sure you are if you found this video, um, you, the, the energy is shared between players. So, like, you have a scale of 20, and you have 10, and they have 10, and it's on a, it's on a shifting scale. And so, like, if I have 5, it's called memory in Digimon, if I have 5 memory and I spend 6, I'm going to give my opponent 1, alright? And so that's kind of like some of the moving around that you do. But, I mean, you have cards like Old Force Vigramon here that cost 13, and uh, also, this card is just freaking great. Look at the art. This is another thing about this game. And we'll talk about it in a second. I'm going to pull out my binder. This game's gorgeous. Anyway, gameplay-wise, it's really fun. Uh, it has like a shield system like uh, Duel Masters, I think. So there's five cards you have to break before you attack the opponent and win the game. Um, you have a deck, you have a discard, and you have a raising area, which is where you use um, these little baby Digimon cards, which I have an example of here. Um, you have the baby Digimon, okay? So these two guys are the two red babies that aren't in the starter deck. Um, these are kind of off to the side, and you have a what's called raising area for you to um, grow Digimon safely without risk of them uh, being destroyed. Um, so it's kind of a cool, like, backup plan area. But I'm just going to kind of flip through this as I talk. This game's gorgeous. Um, I have this binder. This is all of set one and two. Not all, but mostly all of set one and two. Um, and the art in this game is just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, especially these red cards. Everything just kind of gets insane. And, I mean, oh, if you like Digimon, you're going to love this game. All right? Um, it's, it's... It's so beautiful. The artists uh, who do get credited on these cards, um, you can find them on Twitter and stuff. Like, look at this uh, Cedramon card. This is gorgeous. Like, let it focus real quick. But, come on. Come on, people. Look at that. That's beautiful. I love it. Anyway. Okay, I didn't want this video to last too, too long. But, um, there are two sets out now in Japan of the Digimon card game. Um, set one was pretty great. Uh, we got three starter decks out of it. Starter decks are super cheap. Um, really easy to do. Uh, then there was the sets. Um, nothing too crazy happened in the set in set one. Set two came out. There were no starter decks. And we got uh, a couple different things. We got Old Force Vigramon, uh, which was really scary. Worked really well with itself and kind of his little evolution line here. Um, we got uh, the purple and black cards. So now, if you're just getting into this, there's red, yellow, green, blue, purple, and black. Kind of a normal spread of color. Um, and uh, they all kind of go with their natural color attributes. Um, red is going to be your aggro, just straight up. 
uh, blue is going to be dealing with removing uh, mess moving around energy so um, uh, you know let me also um, devolving your opponent's Digimon which is a really cool thing um, so they're gonna shrink your memory down and also like oh haha I'm going to make your Digimon a baby again so, stuff like that uh, green is kind of about being played cheaply uh, and some other things nothing too crazy um, the original uh, scheme of yellow was lowering uh, battle power so first time you see one of these cards uh, you have a battle power up here in the corner uh, yellow would lower this and try to get it to where they could kill this thing easier um, this is pretty high uh, damage or I forgot what, the, what they call it um, everything's in Japanese so I don't really know everything by heart uh, anyway um, what was I blue green yellow uh, purple I don't exactly know what purple does black has a lot of stuff with blocker so you have blockers so that you can't just get wiped out immediately um, the big uh, the big black card is Machine German, which you've probably heard of before, big dude. Um, and he's just a massive blocker, and you have to do things to get around him. So, um, anyway, this game's awesome. Uh, go down in the comments, tell me your experience with Digimon. If you've played the new game, tell me some of your experiences with the new game. Um, and, yeah, man, just get ready for the ride. It's about to be really fun, and I'm super excited for this game to come out. Um, I'm going to be teaching some friends here probably over the weekend, and it's going to be really cool. Uh, make sure you talk to your LGSs, uh, talk to your owners, and make sure that they are aware of the game coming out, which I'm sure they are. Um, uh, and make sure that you can get uh, your hands on this stuff. It blew up in Japan very fast. Uh, they loved it. It blew up in Japan in the middle of a pandemic. Um, if that tells you anything. So this game's going to be super fun. Um, I'm going to be covering it. I hope so. If I have time to, you know, do deck profiles or some gameplays. Um, there's a couple on my channel. We have a starter deck battle on my channel uh, and a uh, video using the app, uh, which you can use on uh, BlueStacks or on your phone if you have Japanese phone. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned for more Bakugan, more Digimon, more Pokemon, more whatever I feel like talking about that day. Um, and Marvel United, of course. Uh, and also, I have some board games coming up. Um, it's going to be really exciting. I think you all like it. But uh, stay tuned on the channel. It's going to be fun. Uh, I am ready to bring this to English and have some fun, people. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's have a good time. It's going to be good. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.